Man, I can't believe that Sega took the time and dedication to remake Sonic Colors. Wow. When did this game release? Hold up, I gotta do a little little Google search real quick. <laughs> oh, oh my god. 2010? 2010. Whoa, I am I feel so old. Where, where did my childhood go? But yeah, man, it's been 11 years since this game has released. I mean, on the Wii originally, now it's on all consoles, which I think is really cool. And they kind of should have done it in the beginning, but you know, hey, Nintendo, what are you going to do? But yeah, even though it's like a cool idea that like Sonic Colors is back, the reviews on YouTube has um <laughs> got me worried. Uh, seizures? Uh, what else? Uh, glitches? And I was like, damn, is is this, whoa, okay, this, this might be a, a miss on Sega, but hey, I'm here to get a first person experience. I can't, t I can't do the whole looking at people thing. I gotta do it myself. So I'm here today to tell you as your host and commentator, Moon, is Sonic Colors Ultimate worth it? Let's, let's get it, let's get it rolling. Let's get it rolling. Story-wise, it's the typical Sonic and Dr. Eggman shenanigans and all that, you know, but with tails and a little wisp. Little wisp guy, kind of cute. So, the story in a nutshell is that Dr. Eggman is enslaving these little aliens so he can use them for his little hinky dinky uh, amusement park, which is actually um, uh, a really, really powerful cannon that can uh, destroy something. So, um, it's up to Sonic to basically, uh, Harriet Tubman this shit. And that's the best way I could put this story. It's just Sonic going through planet to planet and just, just saving the aliens, destroying gates, making jokes. And that's pretty much the whole story. There's, there's no real deep plot. It's just your typical Eggman Sonic showdown. And I, uh, that was because... Oh, you know, so Sonic 06 and, uh, you know, the adventures, I think, you know, their darker tones in the story. We're like, and you know, the other games that almost killed Sonic, but let's not talk about that. Um, yeah, and until Sonic Unleashed, I want to say, there, it was a real attempt to, you know, like, bring, bring, bring a, bring a new dynamic to Sonic's life, in a nutshell. But, you know, it was held back because of the Werehog, obviously. I love you. <laughs> Sonic Colors was Sega's honest attempt to get the Hedgehog back, like, in full-fledged, you know, make him poppin' again. I, I, you know, I, maybe history's repeating itself because it's, it's kind of doing the same thing, you know, get people hyped for Sonic Colors Ultimate after we had Sonic Forces. Yeah, so, you know, it, 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 no tea, no shade, no tea, no shade. So let's talk about the gameplay of Sonic Colors. Well, if you originally played Sonic Colors in the Wii, it's typically the same thing, but, you know, you have a PS4 controller, um, a, a Nintendo Switch controller, but without any of the motion controls, which would be a plus, but, um, there's, there's, oh, we gotta talk about a lot of things, okay. Sonic's controls, he doesn't feel the best, but he doesn't feel the worst either. He, he really, um, yo, he feels so heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Like, most of the time, I feel like an old man trying to get it up. Help me! Oh my god! Son of the bitch! And he's not doing it, so I get pissed off when I don't get a jump in, or when I'm in a teeny weeny platform and struggling to stay on. Ugh. Let me give you some piece of advice. Do not, I repeat, do not spam the homing attack when there's like nothing to, like there's no safety net for you. Like there's no ground below you. Cause yo, this homing attack, a, a homing attack wants, it, it does what it wants. You know, if it's like a straight line, sure, spam it. I don't care. But if it's like, you know, on teeny weeny platforms and like you can't like 
get your bearings and you and you're just gonna die then don't because you're just gonna home in in the wrong enemy and you're gonna lose your rings so respect the homing attack because it's not it's not your friend but but it's not your enemy that that's the best way i could put the homing attack it it functions well i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying that respect it because if you don't respect it it won't respect you i should clarify that I'm, this is the 2d section the 2d sections is how i this is how i feel 3d sections however i they they had i they're good they're they're good i don't think there's anything bad about them i think they're more cinematic than anything but they're 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 play style sonic play styles in 3d fire good Mwah. speaking about 2d and 3d the, the levels the levels are really fun they're really fun with you know exceptions to others and i mean but everybody has their own opinion so we got tropical resort we got sweet mountain we got starlight carnival we got planet wisp we got aquarium park asteroid coaster and terminal velocity let me tell you this right now tropical resort starlight carnival asteroid coaster terminal velocity those levels are really good in my opinion i i like them a lot the levels themselves that it you know really really basic level designs you jump over here you run over there typical sonic shit typical sonic level design shit but what adds flavor to these sonic levels are the wisp powers now i, I the wisp were a beautiful concept in my opinion before you know we started enslaving them but that's besides the point so in each new world for example uh sweet mountain you get the drill wisp in each new world you get new wisp and they add variety to the levels and um even before let's just say tropical resort you there might be a capsule that has it's been blank it's, it's just a color blue for example you can go back to that level and you know after you get the wisp and all that and you can you can you know get your red rings and all that this further improves replay ability because you don't have all the wisp in the beginning but let's just say you beat the whole game and all that you can go back to those levels and you know as i said before get the red rings now i'm not gonna go over all the wisps so i'm just gonna have a venn diagram right here but there is one new wisp uh only exclusive to this game <laughs> it's called the ghost wisp and i thought it was the most useless wisp in the whole entire game like the, okay so the whole power of this wisp right you, you just go there's these little little ghost circles right and you press b or whatever button you're playing in the console and you go to that point so you can go through the level and it's only for red rings really and for further progression sometimes not all the time sometimes it's only used for red rings in my experience playing this game yeah it's not that good oh never mind it was using sonic team racing I guess it wasn't useless after all. I was really worried that um there was gonna be glitches and bugs like in every single level <laughs> because I didn't watch the videos but like I saw people were saying that like oh there's some glitches and all that I'm like whoa really and I have come across a few glitches a few glitches let me show you Let's talk about what's new in this Sonic Colors Ultimate Finanza. So basically, Ultimate gives you the the, um, the opportunity to change Sonic's color, uh, hands color, feet cover, or a cover. You get to customize Sonic basically, and it's a nice idea. Um, it's all cosmetic, so you know you can make your sonic look very very drippy or very very silly or very very ugly 
You decide. You choose. The choices are yours and yours alone. All of this can be seen in the in the little satellite area. And it's a major change than, you know, having that little this got a little cute selection screen. Now we got this sophisticated customization screen. Uh, and we got this new challenge mode. Okay, so you, I, I keep talking about the fucking... You know what, let's talk about the, the red rings real quick so I can get this out of the way. So basically, the red rings, uh, your ticket to get uh, Supersonic, they're very, some of them are more tedious than others to get. I suggest that you play the level normal if it's your first time and if you see a red ring uh, and if it's in your general direction, uh, go for it and you know, and a little exploring with that ghost wisp that I talked about earlier. Now that's out of the way, you get 15 red rings and you face Metal Sonic. Um, why is he here? I don't know, but he, he's here. I guess, yay, that, <laughs> I don't know what to do with you, man. You just kind of popped out of nowhere. Well, basically, uh, think of um, that PSP game, and that's basically a, a game mode in Sonic Colors. Yeah, uh, it's all right at best. <laughs> I played it, I beat him. Um, I don't want to sacrifice my whole life getting red rings, so. Um, look at the completionist for that what was a big surprise to me i was very shocked about this they remixed the the sonic colors ost yo it it blew me away i mean some's good some's bad I, it's an okay soundtrack i prefer the original over this remix but yo it's not bad it's not bad of a listen actually it's pretty good um that um opening song threw me off the first time I, i'll post my live uh thoughts in this uh right now oh hold on hold on real quick listen listen that opening i thought it was gonna be trash i thought it was gonna be garbage but yo it's so fucking fire oh man but the original doesn't doesn't get beat doesn't get beat but yo okay <laughs> would i recommend sonic uh colors ultimate right now yeah, hell no. Mm -mm, no, nah, yeah. It there's there's bugs in the game, and you know it's it's forty dollars. I I mean it's a Sonic title, so I expect that. But you know, wait for a price drop if you're really interested in getting it. Um, that's my take on it. I say wait for a price drop. Uh, should I say complete it? Uh, the choice is yours and yours alone. I would not. Uh, complete it I don't get any satisfaction from it you get supersonic but like what's the point so yeah that's the whole review <laughs> of Sonic Colors Ultimate oh boy I had my fun with this game and I had my struggles with this game is it a bad game no it, it's a good it's a good solid game that right now in the time of this video has problems but um you know it it doesn't hurt to get it uh, Sonic Colors for your collection. I think it's really cool that it's you know cross-platform now Well, I, I meant like you know it's on PS4 and all that so Yeah, that I mean Nintendo should have done that earlier, but you know who, who, who's, who am I to say about that? So uh, Please like share and comment uh, It helps a lot because I am small <laughs> So you have a great happy meal G uh, Goodbye